So here is a small pedal board I put together uh, earlier this year. Going through it uh, clockwise, the same as the audio path. I'll just give you a little rundown of it. The board itself is a Solo um, 18 from Temple Audio. Very solid. Um, they have a very cool modular design where you can just take pedals on and off, which is really cool, uh, especially for for this pedal here, the uh, Collider. And I'll get to that later on in the video. So starting off, uh, we have the Walrus Audio Voyager. That's where my guitar comes in. Uh, it's just a way to get a really nice control over the tone uh, of your guitar, or whatever instrument you're running. The uh, minimal minimal gain. Uh, it's just a super clean tone, and then you can increase the gain to get more breakup, um, more distortion, more. Going down, we have the Muffletta, uh, name taken from uh, the Big Muff. Cool little sandwich on there, uh, which is basically six uh, Big Muff uh, pedals in this to JHS. Uh, pedal are kind of known for doing that. So these are, you know, just different variations of the Big Muff from over over the years. Uh, and then one of them is even their own take on it. Uh, so I have a lot of fun um, with that one. So side note, um, what I use as my patch cables to connect the pedals to get them in really tight are the uh, EBS flat patch cables. You'll see the little lightning bolt on them. They also come in a, a gold version. That was really nice. This pedal I've just had a really long time. It's from Joyo. It's just a solid tremolo. I got it used probably like 20 bucks years ago before I had this board. So this is another JHS. That's JHS as well. Um, Walrus Audio, as I mentioned. Um, this is the Unicorn, uh, taking the name from the Univibe. So definitely kind of a clever name. Uh, there in uh, in wet mode, you're gonna get um, you know the full pitch modulation and can flip back to dry to get a, a mix of clean signal as well. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of variations of tones and colors and you know trippy stuff all the way to um, kind of like you're in in an ocean, kind of like a wavy um, washing sound you can get out of it. I have these stickers on here because the light gets really bright, especially at night, like in, in a studio setting. Um, and it's pulsating, it's just, it's a bit much. So I put those stickers on there. Moving over to here, the Collider has definitely grown to be one of my favorite pedals. It's basically is a two-in-one uh, two type of pedal. Um, they took two of their previous pedals, the, the Nemesis and the Ventress. They combined these together. One was a delay, one was a, a reverb. They took the, the, the favorites, the highlights, like the all-stars from those put those in there so they got the name the collider so one size reverb one size delay you just flip this little switch control your reverb switch back control your delay uh, you can actually have both of them on at the same time which is great been loving this uh, tape delay I've uh, been using that a lot lately um, you can use the control knobs to uh, control how much detuning you want so you can get really a kind of you know retro or lo-fi vintage whatever you want to call it sounds um, out of that I'll show that in just a second. I actually use this as a send and return on my desktop as well. So um, I can hook it up to a patch bay, and send channels from my DAW, uh, two channels back in, or uh, patch synths into it. So yeah, as it says on the uh, on the pedal itself, it is a dual DSP. There is actually shark chips uh, in this, and uh, some of the source audio developers you know, worked with Apple. They know this technology. So again, this is DSP, so it can save you from hogging up too much of your computer's DSP. So it's definitely an added benefit. I use this for a ton of different stuff. And finally, just the uh, Boss RC1 looper, loop station. Just use it to get some ideas down so I won't forget, you know, the next time I come to the board. Or just to jam, just lay down some chords and then play over the top of it. Uh, just for relaxation and enjoyment, yeah. So normally when I record my guitar, um, I'll just use a SM57 uh, straight on my on my amp, which is a Vox AC10. For this, I'm going to be using UA, um, one of their Unison plugins, um, which is the uh, 55 Twin Deluxe uh, the Fender. So um, that's who you're going to be hearing uh, in the video, tracking to Luna.
Thank you.